Greetings. I'm putting up for auction 7.67 acres in San Bernardino County, close to Ludlow, California. If we go to Google Earth, I can show you where this is. You can fly in. This is the U.S. We're going to, towards Southern California, just south of Route 80. You can see Route 80 to the north. This is Route 66. This is the old Route 66 goes across the property and the newer Route 66 is, is next to it. Um, so you can turn off the regular Route 66, take this little trail up and right over to the property. And another screen I'll show you the outline of the property but it's, it's here along, along this railroad track. If we zoom out and look at the area um, there's there's some pictures of the area if I can pull some up here's a night sky beautiful night skies dry air you can see all kinds of stars here's just a picture down route 66 let's keep zooming out there's a uh, Here's some of the desert and the area from the freeway 40 to the north. This must be during spring, because um, it's pretty green. The flowers come out in the spring. After the rains, the, the bushes come alive. It changes throughout the year. Just pulling up some other pictures. If you've ever driven Route 40 through there, this might look familiar. Um, this property, there's no neighbors around, there's nobody around. You can have this whole area to yourself. You can make all the noise you want, you can dress however you want. Um, you can do what you want out here. This is, this is American freedom in the middle, middle of nowhere. No one to bother you, question you, or tell you what to do. Yet you can get on, on Route 66 and shoot up to Ludlow and get on Route 40 and if you head if you head west, you can go to Los Angeles. If you head east, you can go to Needles, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Oklahoma City, and it keeps going. I think it goes to St. Louis and beyond. I mean, Route 40 is a major artery to America. Um, this is the mountain range, one of the main mountain ranges you'd be looking at, Black Ridge. It's got some, some good topography to it. Uh, maybe we could take a little tour of the area give you a better view of what the topography and the landscape around the area looks like. This is Google Earth imagery. You can just soak in why they call this Black Mountain. But the property would be over here, I think, the, the markers going by. If you can see that. And up here is Route 40. So let's, let's pan back out. This is the property here. The pictures just, lots of pictures of train track. People love to watch the trains go by. There's amazing trains that go through here. All kinds of engines and stuff that they're carrying. This is a major rail artery. And this rail goes at the, to the can't pr pronounce it. Tichipi Pass. If you ever go to the, the San Diego Railroad Museum, people have built model replicas of that rail line and the passes that it goes through as it heads west. But here you go. This is where we're at. We're in between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Either of them are within an easy day's drive. You can go spend time in Los Angeles and go back, go back to your land to spend the night. Same thing with Las Vegas. You could shoot up to Las Vegas and back. You could go to um, the river. This is the Colorado River. You can take 40 to Needles and come down to Lake Havasu City or go play in the river and then come back to your property. So, add some other, let's show you the, the, uh, well let's start with the land. We were just looking at where this is. So this is Old Route 66. 
This is the actual Route 66. There's a railroad line. This is the property. This piece here. This triangular piece. You can kind of see it. Blends in. So this is the old Route 66. Not, not really driven anymore. It's not maintained or anything. But it's still on the map. So if we look at San Bernardino County, this property that's for sale is 7.67 acres. If we search the whole county on Landwatch and see what the cheapest land in the county is, I narrowed it down. No, I didn't even narrow it down by size. It's just the cheapest land in the county. And we do a search, price low to high. The picture of me comes up with a different property I've got for sale, um, closer to Needles. Get the cheapest land in the county, five acres for nineteen hundred dollars. This one in this auction is seven point seven six acres. Um, the next cheapest one in the in the county is five acres near Lockhart, twenty five hundred dollars. And it starts skipping up. I mean, if you start comparing these ones, there's another one of my properties. I've got a lot of these cheapest ones in the county. So I think I think you can get some really cheap land off of this listing. You put this putting this up on eBay for a dollar, no reserve, and I'll pay all the fees, I'll pay all the taxes, do all the paperwork to transfer it into your name, and we'll see where it goes. So I, I pulled up the County of San Bernino's website, tax collecting website. Now I'll give you a look at the taxes in this property. So right now there's fifteen dollars due. I'll pay that um, the tax that's due in December the first tax that you will be responsible for the new owners will be April 11th 2016 the way it is right now it's seven dollars and sixty four cents I mean fifteen dollars a year this is that's a sweet tax bill it's pretty hard to get lower than that now if we do a transaction on this property the price might change the taxes but still it's just the point is it's really small taxes on this property you can buy this thing without a mortgage. You can pay the kinds of numbers. It's probably smaller than paying the closing costs in most, most other tr real estate transactions anywhere in the area. And you can own it outright. Um, this should be just a quick, easy, simple one um, that you can take advantage of. So I hope, hope you're interested in this property because I think it'd be the cheapest or pretty darn close to the cheapest land in San Bernardino County. Um, Please feel free to ask me any questions, put any comments in the box below, or seek me out on ruralvacantland.com. I'd be more than happy to try to answer your questions. Otherwise, take a look at what the bid is at on eBay and see if you can outdo that bid. We'll see where it goes. Thanks for listening.